Good evening and welcome to your daily dose of winning. Hi, it's me again. This guy, what the heck? How are you guys today? Um, so I want to touch a little bit about, I think I, I might have touched on it last night. I don't know. Everything kind of gloms together. Today's my Friday at work. So my Friday at work is always like... All right, get this done. All right, get that done. Um, we got to worry about this. We got to worry about that because I won't be around the next two days. <gasps> Place runs fine without me. I just got to remember that. I'm just there to bring a mop and a bucket to fix all the crap that was fixed or messed up while I was gone for two days. That's fine. It is what it is. Which kind of leads me to the uh, no one can go back and make a brand new start. Can't go back to... On Friday, I can't go back to Thursday and Wednesday and fix it. Um, all I can do now is start now in a brand new ending. But no, um, a quote I read, uh, and I brought it up on my screen again, though no one can go back and make a brand new start, anyone can start from now and make a brand new beginning. I was asked the question of what would you, if you could give advice to your past self, your younger self, what advice would you give him? Nothing. Nothing wouldn't have put me on the path I'm on today. It wouldn't put me right here, sitting in this chair, talking to you. I mean, would it? I don't know. Probably would have had a whole bunch of different other messes and mistakes and bad choices he made. But I can know for certain that that brought me here, right here, today. So would I go back and give advice to my past me? No, because you can't change the past. But I will leave a message for future me. Look where you were and look where you're at right now while you're listening to this video again. You guys can do the same thing. Write yourself a letter and postmark it or mail it to yourself. You know what I mean? Um, have you ever done that? <laughs> <laughs> write yourself a letter and mail it to yourself just to see where are you this week that you weren't you wanted to be last week you know what I mean um, but no in, in reality we can't fix we can't go back in time and change that the person we were back then the messes we made the mistakes we made the bad choices we made the good choices we made the good everything our, our entire past put us where we're at right now. Think about that. Hopefully I won't get a wrong answer again like I got earlier today. But think about that. What would you be able to change? I, why? I wouldn't be right here, I don't think. All I know is I got here right now because of that because of my younger self but I can say to my future self thank you for staying the course thank you for coming from where you were to where you're at I appreciate you for that um, and that's what I can say is I can leave a message for my future self to get them to say thank you for staying the course thank you for not giving up thank you for not taking the easy out easy out thank you for not doing that because look where you're at now um, even seven years ago from where I'm at now would I have thought I would be where I'm at now if someone asked me five years ago where will you be in five years I wouldn't have thought this where will you be in seven years I wouldn't have thought this I wouldn't have thought I'd be sitting here talking to you on a camera with was what day 30 day 37 of a 90 day challenge I wouldn't have thought that I'm an affiliate for Twitch and that I sit here and play video games and people come and hang out and chat with me virtually I wouldn't have thought that you know um, my relationships would have came and went and ended and came and went and ended and, and, and I wouldn't have thought that I would have still had the same employment that I have right now. I wouldn't have thought that I'd be on the path to becoming a multimillionaire. I wouldn't have thought that. 
I wouldn't have thought that. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to become a millionaire one day. I wouldn't have thought that I was on that path. I, I wouldn't have. Yeah, we all dream. We wish. What do I say? Stop wishing, start doing. So I did. Stopped wishing. Started taking the steps necessary to do that. Physically. Personally, again, it's going to be a mess. It is a mess. Um, and professionally, working on that. Can't go back and make a brand new start. I can't. But I can change how it ends. And that's what I'm doing. You can't go back and make a brand new start. But you can change how it ends. You can make a brand new ending. Because today is done. Tomorrow, we have the opportunity. Yesterday, you can't fix. It is what it is. So focus on from this point of this video on and make yourself a brand new ending. Upgrade your life and make yourself a brand new ending. You know, it's, there's, there's, there's another one I read. What did I read? Success. There's only one place that success comes before work. And that's in the dictionary. It's the only place where success comes before work. In reality, you got to work to become successful. <laughs> so put that work in because you're amazing. And because you're awesome, you know, if anybody, including your own brain, tries to take that away from you, your awesomeness and your amazingness, you need to get rid of that. Whether it's the thought process, the mindset, whatever it may be, it all comes together and culminates in the end to make a brand new beginning. You got this. You got this. Stick with it. I saw somebody on Facebook today, they were like, I was about to give up, and then they bang. A banger of a high... I was like, what? Sweet. They were literally like, I don't think I can do this. They almost gave up. And then they were successful. They had a first small success. In their mind, it was big. Great. Any success, big or small, big or small as a success. A win is a win. Simple as that. A W, no matter how much the percentage... If it's a fraction of a point, it's still a win. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's still a freaking win. People go, oh, well, we didn't. Did we win the day? Yes. Did, are we still alive at the end of the day? Do we feel healthier at the end of the day? Brand new ending. And always winning. I ramble. Sorry, my brain is a little today. But remember you're awesome. Remember you're amazing. If anything, including your brain, tries to remove those awesome and amazing thoughts, get rid of the toxicity, change your mindset, get rid of the people, get rid of the things, get the rid of the nonsense in your life, please. Because I'm here to remind you that you're amazing and you're awesome. You right there. You, new person that just started watching these videos, I'm talking to you. I'll tell it to you every day. As long as you watch these videos every day, you'll know that one person in the planet, on the planet, in the planet, on the planet, on the planet, knows that you're amazing, feels that you're amazing, knows that you're amazing, feels that you're awesome, and knows that you're awesome. Simple as that. It's not that complicated. You're an amazing and awesome person. I love all of you guys. Until the next time, I will see you tomorrow. Peace.